Okay, folks, so I'm gonna do a two to three holes course vlog. Right here is uh, number 20, 178 yards, 76. Okay, the pin seems to be on the middle. I took a seven iron, traditional blade, very powerful swing. I remember, I keep telling people you don't have to swing hard to get distance. The more you commit to this swing, the more efficient you're going to become. I used to try to generate power all the time and then I just had to learn that power will come to me naturally by the flexion of the shaft, by hitting the ball more in the center of the club face and by coming more efficient, okay? So you can't try to generate power through trying to hit the ball hard, okay? I can't emphasize that enough. I want your power to come from the position. I want your power to come from a shallow circular inside the out swing that causes the shaft to flag, the shaft to flex, the shaft to flex. <laughs> a little, 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 little tongue tied from centripetal force, okay? So here's my ball. There's the pin in the back. And we'll try to make this putt, okay? But remember that don't worry about power. Don't worry about distance. All of that will come to you later. They vertical cut the greens today. And I'm um, just getting ready for the fall season. We have a few tournaments coming out here, okay? So let's see if we can make this. That's a good par. So remember, don't worry about power, okay? The two things that will ruin your golf swing is trying to generate power and trying to add in traditional golf methods to this method right here, okay? Those two things will deter your progress. And I cannot say this enough, commit to the process. Commit to building your swing. It's so important, building your swing. Okay, so we're gonna go to another hole and we'll repeat. Short par three. 151 yards. I took a nine iron. The pin is on the front. So I just took a little nine iron, okay? But um, just in a control game today, I'm just hitting control shots. One thing you might notice with me, I do a lot of three quarter shots, okay? You'll barely see me come parallel. I can go parallel all day long if I wanted to come parallel. But I found out from being on the practice range and on the golf course that my best shots are when I do three quarter shots. I hit the ball more consistently and I'm more efficient, okay? So from that, I did some studying. What I did, I, I watched some um, Shell's Wonderful World of Golf, some of the older guys that played back in the day. I watched Tiger when he was at his best. I watched Jack when he was at his best, Faldo, all these guys, okay? And the one thing they had all in common was when they were on their big winning streaks, Seve, all of them, they had control over their three-quarter shots. 
they were hitting the ball just as far, but they were more efficient, okay? So that's why you see me out here a lot hitting three-quarter shots, okay? Okay, so another par chance for birdie. A long birdie chance, but it's still a chance for birdie. And the game is like, golf is fun. You know, I don't want to say it, but golf can be easy if you learn how to repeat a few things over and over and over. So give that a try on the range. Give it a try when you go out. You know, take an extra club and try a three-quarter shot, all right? Because if you're warming up the correct way, remember I told you how you build your swing. You build your swing from the bump and run to half shots, to three quarter shots, to full shots. So you should have command over all them swings already if you're already hitting full shots, okay? You should have full command over the three quarter shot. The only thing you do differently is take one extra club and hit the three quarter shot and you're gonna be surprised at how you are just shooting at the pin and always on the green and always got a chance for par now. It's gonna really surprise you how golf can become so much simpler, okay? All right, take care. Okay, everyone. So you got a 400 yard, par four, okay? Water up the whole entire right side, OB left, okay? And this is a extremely difficult hole. You have to hit a good tee shot on this one to get away with it, all right? Remember what I said, the only thing I work on on the tee box is just removing the tension from my swing. I make sure my arms are just like spaghetti, okay? Okay, so on that one, if you saw the shot I hit, I hit my version of the Tiger Stinger. Okay, and I would do that a lot of times if you have um, problems on the right side of the fairway and the left side of the fairway, okay? So I'll hit my version of the Tiger Stinger. It literally only gets anywhere from waist to chest high but it goes, I mean, it runs out there. It runs out there like a bullet. And it's a shot that I just, you know, I copied Tiger from when he was playing his best golf and I've always kept it in my bag. And I just call it, you know, it's just, it's just my version of a stinger. You know, I, I have a low follow through. I make sure I hit solid contact and it hits the fairway and it just runs out there. Because this hole is OB left and, it's, and you're dead right, okay? So it's a must to hit the fairway, okay? It doesn't go as far in this time of the year with the wet grass is the thing, but you know what? You're in the fairway, and right now I have about 180 to the hole, okay?
Well, I just made this hole challenging, and I'm gonna tell you why. I threw my hybrid in my bag for who knows why, because I guess I just wanted to learn how to hit it. I can hit, I, I hit my long irons treetop high, but I got a hybrid, and I, it always comes back to me. I say, well, let me hit my hybrid, let me hit my hybrid, let me hit my hybrid. I just hit it a correct distance, but I just haven't figured out how to um, aim the daggone thing yet, okay? So I just made this very difficult hole even more difficult. I went over here in the rough, and hopefully we can find it right here in the rough. If we find it, we'll be okay. Yes, it's sitting right here. But I have a, I have a pitch shot over the bunker, okay? So I'm gonna set everything up and I'll show you what I got. That's my ball, and we'll play it out. Not bad at all. You see that ball jump up out of there? So I'm pretty happy with that shot right there. Turned out to be pretty good coming out of that. This um, goose grass, you name it, you call it, but it's here. And it'll shut your face down really fast. So I have a chance for my par on here. And we'll go up here to it and we'll see what we got. The ball flew right over the pin. Alrighty. So this is the name of the game. You don't always hit them perfectly, but the name of the game is being able to make a bad hole into a decent hole. Okay, you see that scramble? So I almost chipped it in for par, but I wound up getting the bogey on it, and that's not bad. So I was able to work it out, scramble, I stayed with the program, and I got a bogey out of it. So that's when I say keep grinding, okay? So I turned that bad hole into a decent hole. A bogeys don't kill you, okay? Remember that, bogeys don't kill you. You can always get them back with a birdie down the line, and it's not bad, okay? The best in the world to have bogeys so I was able to scramble and save that bogey. Take care, peace.